Billy Bob, how about over at CISA? Tell us about a specific program you all are focusing on. Sure, thanks. And, um, you know, I just love the global nature of this, uh, this conversation, right? You know, because uh, all around the world, uh, and especially as we think about our own country, it really is about safety of the citizen and, uh, and our public safety and first responders, you know, getting to an incident, uh, having the command and control capabilities uh, interoperably across multiple, uh, multiple disciplines, multiple jurisdictions, uh, multiple agencies, you know, is critical uh, to ensuring the safety of those citizens. And what we've uh, been working with in partnership uh, with more than 65 public safety uh, communications uh, related associations across the nation in, the, in our SAFECOM team is the advancement of, uh, of our understanding of interoperability. Uh, just most recently, we published uh, a new interoperability continuum uh, that SAFECOM developed that, uh, that recognizes in the all IP environment uh, the criticality of cybersecurity uh, to the technology lane. You want to explain SafeCom real quick, just so people understand what that is, how that, what, what is that apparatus? Sure, SafeCom is a, a, a public safety uh, uh, communications uh, related uh, program that, uh, that the department uh, stood up uh, several years ago. Uh, we've been working in partner, uh, partnership, uh, as I mentioned, with more than 65 uh, public safety associations. We have over 100 uh, participant uh, members that, uh, that join with us. Uh, regularly providing uh, voluntarily uh, their time to share best practices, uh, to share information, to work through uh, lessons learned and develop uh, tactics, uh, techniques, uh, develop tools that can be used uh, by public safety communications officials across the nation to improve and to drive uh, interoperability for uh, for emergency communications. Yeah, 